I would describe us as a family, uh, in the sense that we are um, a family business, which really makes a big difference, I think. The first Antinori was uh, born in 1180 and was born in a castle in this area. But the first member of the family that was working in the wine business was called Giovanni di Pier Antinori and he started in 1385. But who really was the one that developed the business and brought it to be what it is today is my father. In a certain sense, I think my father had really a vision and he thought that in such a traditional area like this one, where only Chianti Classico and Chianti Classico Reserva were made, you could make a wine that was different, that was going out of the rules. So he started to experiment, he experimented with the barrel, so he started really to transform a way of making wine that was in the, made in the same way since centuries and centuries. We never buy an estate because we think that strategically is uh, good to sell wine, but we go into places, we fall in love with the place and then we we start to make wine there. So each time that I go to a restaurant, I always find a bottle of tea and I on one of the tables. And this for us, as a producer, is very nice to have people drink your wine. We, in our distribution, have nearly 40%, around 38% that is sold in Italy. So the markets that are more important for us are Germany, because of historical reasons, but also because of geographical reasons. We have America, which is very big, and so it's been always kind of a strong market. America and Canada are quite strong together. Uh, so it's the second export market that we have. And then we have all the other areas that are next to, next to Italy. So Switzerland, Austria, England as well. Then we have developed Russia, we have uh, Holland. Those are the first 10 markets. And the first 10 export markets do the 90% of all the export sales. China is one of, obviously one of the countries that we think will develop because we want to build a brand. And so needing to build a brand would take our time. But Japan is going very well, Korea is going very well. So we see a big uh, development in the Far East. As uh, our goal is to go directly to the consumer, partners like Cult Wines are very important to us. It never goes out of fashion. It's a, it's a wine that people know and people love and people drink. 